Got an achievement. For ghosts? Okay. <laughs> I had to go until I got the laugh. Takonomy today. Turnip founder Mike Eggplant to buy postal service. That's eh, less fun. Morning. You're at the pickaxe if you're in town center today. I don't even know why I'm saying this. You're in town center every day. Anyway, see you later. Hey, dude. At the old sn Snalkin. Snalkin? Snalkin. Come save me from Bordeaux Supreme. Sincerely, Gregory. Away message. Planets are to be pitied as they cannot know how big and cool they are. Dr. Kathy Conklin, National Astronomy Agency. Weirdly, I think that's an actual quote. I seem to remember hearing that before. <laughs> Destiny's asking in chat, didn't we talk to God last time? Uh, whatever we talked to, I thought made it pretty clear that it was not, in fact, God. But... Unclear. <laughs> Time to go talk to Mulia Child. <laughs> Honey, you okay? Ah, uh, mornings are tough right now. Are you pregnant? No! Oh, honey, is that why you came home? No, not at all! Sweetie, you can tell me. I've been there. And despite nature's intentions, God came through and blessed us with you. You are a miracle, baby. That's me, a miracle. After all the miscarriages, we'd given up hope. And then there you were. And here I am now. So if you're pregnant... I'm not pregnant. <laughs> I was not in a situation where pregnancy happens. Okay, okay. I just want you to know that you could always come to us with this. Okay, noted. Can we talk about something else? Sure! You know, if you did have a baby... <laughs> okay! I'm out. Haha, <laughs> okay, sweetie. I'm sorry, I get excited about grandbabies. It's fine. I'll be back later. Love you! Love you too. Bon appétit. Well, that wasn't awkward. <laughs> I don't feel like I dropped out of college is the time to talk about grandchildren. You're not wrong. <laughs> Ooh, I need to go talk to crazy Russian bear man. May. Mr. Chazikov, you look a bit worse for wear today, May. Oh, I'm fine. I made it up here, didn't I? Watch yourself, lest you fall. Will do. You're to see some stars? You know it. Come have a look. No joke about burning out my eyes? I'm maturing. Gotcha! Ooh, which one is this? Adina Astra. You know this one? Yes, I know this one! It's a common story. How Adina journeyed to the frozen lake, how she traversed unknown faraway lands. I was very into Adina stories when I was a kid. So you must know what became of her? Yeah. How she, in her quest, turned her back on the sky and journeyed down into the earth where her stars were no longer over her their head? And how she was never seen again? Yeah, whatever. Is that not a sad ending? No, disappearing isn't the same as dying. She probably went somewhere else completely and did all kinds of cool shit. Oh my! Yeah, so, whatever. Wow, that one hit a nerve.
There we go. I think I got one? Let us see. Cole the Mountaineer. Cole. Knew a guy named Cole once. That close? It is. So what's up with this guy? Cole was from a flat land. This Midwest? Whatever the Midwest of wherever he was from was. Every place has a Midwest. This is true. He dreamed of mountains and devoted his life to climbing them. Because his hometown was flat? Isn't that their common instinct? To seek that which is unlike where one grows up? What would, actually, what would May's answer be to this? That's an interesting question, because she's really getting screwed up by the fact that uh, Greg is going to be moving and that things are changing, and she's the only one who's not changing. You know what? Yeah, I'm going with not really. I like home. I like my neighborhood. I like the bad diner food. It is not good. But it is good bad. Like a story your friend wrote and gave you to read. I like the disco fries. So what happened to Call? He returned home and complained that the sky felt heavy. He had been up into the clouds and now they rested hard upon him. That's a really specific complaint. When one leaves a place, one brings something back when one returns. One. One. Oof! That's all for the day. That was nice. Pretty sweet. The stars, I mean. I am in agreement. Oh. I wonder how many of these I've got. Oh, yeah. Spooky dude. Oh. I should talk to... Hey, May. You alright? Yeah, I guess. Why? You look like... You went through the dryer on the wrong setting. <laughs> yeah. Long week is all. You want to hear a poem? Cheer you up? Sure. Life goes on. It feels so long. But I report, life is too short. Haha. <laughs> Here's another happy one. Life is great, but life is hard. Let's grill hot dogs in the backyard. Thank you, Selmers. They cheer you up? They did. Yay! I like Selmers. I've probably done like three voices for Selmers. I can't remember what I did each time. I was wondering if I should go to church or go to the, uh, down below. And then I realized if I'm going to steal something, I should probably go to church second. Bet some rat babies would love a delicious pretzel. fairly easy now. Now I can go to church. Hey, can you do me a favor? Sure. Can you tell Pastor Kate something for me? Sure. But don't tell her this till tomorrow. Can you do that? Sure. Tell her I said thank you. And I'm sorry I caused her trouble. But I'm not worth throwing away her job. She's the pastor after all. Folks need her. Are you leaving? Yup. Gonna hop a train tonight, headed east. Where will you go? I'm going home. Wow, really? Never gonna touch a bottle again. Never gonna lift a hand to no man again. Sit on my daughter's front porch, watch my grandbabies play in the yard. They'll all be there. Gonna get off that train. My kids are gonna be there. Off a sign they made. Nothing fancy. Poster board and markers. Welcome home, Dad. And I'll be home. That sounds great, Bruce. Yep, yep. Thanks for talking to me. It was nice to get to know you. You too, Bruce. Gonna miss you. 
We'll all meet again. I hope so. Hope's important. It's the last thing you got. You take care of yourself. You too, May. I'll be fine, you know. I'm an old hand at this. Maybe older than I ever should have got to, but I'll be fine. See you around, Bruce. Goodbye, May. That's a shame. I like that guy. And I like doing the scruffy voice. Why do I feel like this is a death metaphor? You know, it could be. Alright. Church! Because there will be children here. And this is a historic church. That's half empty. That's your job to fix, not ours. The population drain in this region, you have to know this place will never be full again. We have the space and we have people who need space. We have resources and we have poverty. And not in some far off place or some big city, right here, right across the street. Katie, it's our number one job right now to bring businesses into town. Businesses mean jobs, and jobs mean people. We have to do what we can to get the attention of the market. And having a half-dead church stacked full of bums... Thanks for your time. We'll see you for the vote tomorrow night. Thank you, Kate. You have a good heart, Kate. Thank you all for coming. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. I heard a big old bless your heart in that, didn't didn't anyone else? Ah, stressful day. Some days you need grace more than others. Was this all about Bruce? It was, is, whatever. It's out of our hands now, but there are better hands than mine. Hmm. Anyway, how are you, May? Eh. Eh. Sounds serious. I guess. So, like, things have been rough lately. I can see that. What seems to be the trouble? I think I met God? Oh, maybe you were right, Destiny. <laughs> what? I don't... I don't think it was a dream. Oh, wow. That happens, right? Or it, like, happened. Sure. Can you tell me about it? Uh, uh-oh. How well do I remember this dream from a couple weeks ago? I'm gonna say I was in the desert. I was in this desert, as far as I could see, where, like, all that was left of the world was bits of wood and sand. I was wandering through it, but I was, like, drawn to something. And I came up over this... What do you call a hill made of sand? A dune. Yeah, a dune. And there was God. Just sitting there, up on another hill. Or dune. Whatever. Just hanging out? Yeah. Seemed like they were really into just hanging out. Did they say anything? Yeah. They were kind of a jerk. I mean, more of a straight-up asshole. Sorry, can I say that in a church? Haha. <laughs> I think the structure can handle the shock. They went on and on about how annoyed they were that people kept coming to them with questions, and annoyed that anyone thought they were God to begin with. Well, I don't think that was God, then. Why? If something tells you it isn't God, you should probably believe it. No, what I mean is that the thing we call God isn't God, it's just a thing, and it doesn't care. Hmm. They kept talking about... how nothing matters, like the universe is ending, and everything is being forgotten. That sounds very lonely. Have you been feeling lonely lately? Yes. I had this problem when I was in high school, and I did something really bad. You probably heard about it. Your mom has mentioned it. Yeah, I figured. Well, since then, 
there's this deep down loneliness been there for years since, well, just been a long time. I've been there. I mean, I'm there all the time. I think that's where, if we open ourselves up, God can enter our lives most effectively. Ugh, both of these are... Ugh. It may seem like a cop-out, but I'm going with I guess. I guess. Sometimes that's the best you've got. Yeah. I feel like that's maybe not a good enough answer for you. Is that a good enough answer for anyone? Faith is a process. You have to keep getting up and choosing to go on. Do you really think there's a God? Like, literally someone up there listening? Is that something you completely believe? Hmm. I don't know. Oh. On my best days, I think I do. But there are times where I don't. But... But you stand up there every Sunday and tell people you do. And even you're not sure? It's your job to believe. Well, I think it's more my job to serve others. But you're lying to people. How? You stand up there and tell people to believe in something you don't 100% believe in yourself. Maybe you're right, May. And maybe I should get up there every week and give some sort of tally of how much I believed that week. But who would that help? But you're a pastor, and you can't tell me whether or not God is up there. Whether anyone is watching. Anyone who gives a shit. No, but... Then what is the point of you? I have to go. Okay. Wow, that got harsh. <sighs> well, I'm just good at burning my bridges, aren't I? Hey, hon. Are you still having headaches? Yeah, but being out and about helps. Fresh air! Thanks for visiting me here, hon. It brightens my day. Feels weird being here today. Like, there's so much empty space. Come on Sunday. It's full then. I bet it is. I just heard how it's not, but okay. I was wondering if the dog was going to show up. Time to feed my rat babies. Rats, time to eat. Four now. Ah, uh, come on. No, what are you doing? Hey, I got them both in one. Wow, there's so many of you. Someday you won't need me anymore, and you'll leave. Well, I even recognize. Will I even recognize you on the street as we pass each other? I love you, Miracle Rats. Hope Springs Rats Multiply. That's the description of the uh, trophy I just got. <laughs> 